Hi, my name is Seamus Duggan. I'm from a little place called Doro in County Leash. I'm running a McHale 5600 Plus and a new orbital wrapper, uh, both in line. I've been working an inline system for the past 18 years. This is my third such uh, system or new this type of system. I worked a welder up until now with a, with a uh, HS2000 and we changed this year for the simple fact I wanted to change and upgrade my, my baler to the film net system. Uh, which Mikhail offered. Uh, I spoke to Mikhail for the past number of years. I knew this was in development and I feed up to 1,600 bales of silage every year. So there's an awful lot of net and plastic being used here. And we work a Tanko auto cut system, which grabs both net and plastic. And the biggest job was to actually separate both. So after discussing with Mikhail, they were really pushing me towards a fusion, but unfortunately, a fusion wouldn't really suit me here as a lot of my ground is very very wet and low lying and could be very wet at this time of year if you got bad weather and it's nice to be able to pull the pin on the wrapper leave it on the headland and just get through it with white wheels on a baler get your bales out and wrap them uh, this year is not going to be a problem that way uh, we're flying through the land here at the moment it's perfect but to have that option and also for straw, we wanted to be able to just pull the baler. We bale a lot of straw as well for ourselves and we just wanted a, 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 a nice simple way of getting around. Even though this new 5600 Plus is not a very simple baler in the sense there's an awful lot of technology in it. It's a completely automated system baler. Uh, it has taken me a day or two to get the hang of it. I'm continually going for a hydraulic handle to open the back door, uh, to press a button to set the wrapper off and drop off a bale but now I sit on this and I'm holding my hand back uh, it's completely automated from the minute it makes the bale it puts the film on it opens the door it shuts the door it picks up the bale it wraps the bale the only thing left for me to do is drop the bale whenever I feel like it and I can even make that automatic so yeah it's um it, it's a very ingenious system uh, I have found it a uh, interesting to work. I, it's, it's actually a pleasure to work. I've, I've never come across anything like it. I was always a Welger man, I'd be straight up about it, but I have to say Mikhail is up there and up there amongst the best and the additions, the things they have modified on the baler that they have improved on in comparison to any other baler, I think it's fantastic. I, I just can't get over it. Um, people said to me I was mad not to buy a Fusion. I don't think so. Um, we're finding this amazing. We're doing 50, 55 bales an hour there and any sort of a big, reasonable sized field with a heavy swart and we're absolutely flying it. There is no pressure on anyone. Um, I think the film is going to be a super job because we're putting that extra wrap all around the bale first before we put on the, the plastic. The wrapper, as you can see, is one of the new orbital wrappers. It's basically the back end of a fusion. Uh, you can see the ring, that's the, 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 the plastic goes around in a circle instead of before what I had was a HS2000, which was a, a satellite wrapper, two arms with the, always revolving around the table. This is exactly the same as the Fusion. But where I see the real benefits of this and, and my system in comparison to possibly the Fusion or uh, a lot, any of those type of systems is the idea that if I do run into bad weather, or maybe we're busy somewhere that somebody else has made bales, which has happened and they get broke down or need a wrapper, I can pull the pin on the wrapper, drop it here in about two minutes, pick it up on a tractor and off we go. But it has happened here on plenty of occasions that we've got into really, really bad ground conditions and we, we just were not able to handle the weight. So we, we, we separate both. I can steer the wrapper, it's very easy. Get into an awkward gate, like I'm going to a place there and there's a nine foot two gate. This is nine foot exactly, I have two inches to spare, but I know I'll get in because I can steer the ram behind me, bring it in. This is a, is a fabulous machine. I think they've ironed out all their problems uh, that they had from the 991J and uh, the HS2000 and they've come an awful long ways. Uh, this, is, this machine, if it sees me out, it'll be great. Uh, if not, if I'm around long enough, I'll definitely go back for another one. Um, I like what it does, I like how it does it and I will stick with it.